Good morning. This is Eric Johnson, President and CEO of Access Coaching and Consulting. Welcome to the One Minute Message. Today's scripture is found in John chapter 9, verses 24 through 30. So a second time they called the man who had been blind and said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. He then answered, Whether he is a sinner I do not know. One thing I do know, that though I was blind, now I see. So they said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? You do not want to become his disciples too, do you? They reviled him and said, You are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses, but as for this man, we do not know where he is from. The man answered and said to them, Well, here is an amazing thing, that you do not know where he is from, and yet he opened my eyes. I would assume most of you have heard this scripture before, but in hearing it, most of us, including myself, have just heard about the, the healing and the power and the, the Pharisees denying who Christ was. Uh, his parents were called in to testify to what happened, and they said, hey, he's of age, you ask him, because they were scared. And the healing is what's taken place here, but even more so, the more important part to me is the fact that this man had boldness and he had courage. He had been blind from birth and a beggar. How humiliating was that for him? How do you think that that affected him all through his life and how he felt just just tragically beaten down and ignored and a just a, a leech on society at that point and, and just sitting in the dirt? Uh, not only was he healed of his blindness, but when that took place, now he had courage and boldness. It transformed him mentally, not just physically. Mentally, it transformed him to be able to stand up to the Pharisees and their questioning and their doubts. And he uses some sarcasm, right? I mean, he, he was bold enough to say, look, I already told you. This is the second time they've called him in before them. I've already told you. You didn't listen. And, and what do you, why do you want me to tell you again? Do you want to become a follower of him? Uh, which is obviously a very large insult. And then they, of course, threw Moses in his face. And, well, we're followers of Moses. You're a follower of this guy. Uh, just kind of a very childish response. But he spoke with boldness and courage, even when his parents backed down. And even when he had no one else around him to back him. Because Christ had healed him and Christ had moved on to do other things. And he wasn't physically standing there with him, but he had the courage as though he had an army behind him. And I think he truly did. God bless you. I hope you have a great week. Speak with courage this week. Speak with power this week. Affect others' lives. God bless you.